to the Daily Echo. It is July 23rd. It is Wonderful Wednesday. Today I want to talk a little bit about the word ease, spelled E-A-S-E. And I was listening to Dave Blanchard talk the other day about how in life we really strive for ease. You know, many times we have goals and aspirations and dreams that we think will put us in a place where we no longer have to deal with the rigors of life and the difficulties of life. And if you get a chance this week, go Google past lottery winners. And I think most of you already know the stories of these people. It's an absolute incredible array of tens, twenties, hundreds of people who are absolutely miserable. I was reading the story and account of a man who had won over $200 million, um, I believe, five to six years ago. And uh, just the, the absolute miserable life this man is having, from estranged spouses to daughters who don't even want to see him, who has no family relationships whatsoever, who's involved in, in habits that are very destructive at this time, all in the name of ease, all in the name of being able to... Um, not have to deal with things in life. I think we think that as long if we have this or we have that, we have this house, we have these cars, we have this money, we don't have to worry about getting up and going to work, that everything in life will be taken care of. Life was not meant for ease. There's no growth that occurs with ease. We know in, in training, if we do not stress that muscle, it does not grow. We need discomforts. We need challenges. We need these things in our life. They're actually what makes us happy. I know that sounds strange. Um, I was reading... Uh, I was reading some of Chad Helmstetter's information the other day, and he was talking about writing a book that you can't climb a smooth mountain. And we need areas to grab onto rugged parts of mountains, things like that to help us grow. So a lot of times in our life when we think we want that ease, it's sort of a foolish uh, trick that's being played in our mind. This is when we get back to what I talk about a lot, about us going into this fantasy thinking to where we portray ourselves living in that house that we don't have, driving that car that we don't have, having those millions that we don't have. And then we come back to the reality of not having that. And we have a um, hormonal imbalance that occurs because we actually, when we're fantasizing over those things, we actually feel those things. Our body produces the hormones that actually we're living in the place. And we come back and it sets us up for a lot of despair. So I I always say it's important to have those goals, but understand why we have those goals and understand that it's the journey that is the fun part. That's the process. Most of you out there that have set and attained really fabulous goals in your life realize when you get there, you're like, okay, now what? The journey was the fun part of it. And then you got to set a new goal. So when we're looking for this thing called ease in our life, it's sort of a trap door. There's really no such thing as ease. And when we think that there is ease, we tend to stop pushing and developing and moving forward. So be grateful for your challenges. Be grateful for the obstacles in life because that's what makes life fun. That's that's what allows us to understand the good things and the bad things. You, You never know good if you don't know what bad is. And so we need that opposition. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll be talking to you again tomorrow on Tremendous Thursday. Thanks as always for tuning in.